Hello! Welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and I love do-it-yourself projects. In fact, sometimes it wakes me up at night when I'm getting inspiration and ideas of things that I could possibly make or do. But I will say my favorite thing about do-it-yourself projects is figuring out a way to do them on a very tight budget and possibly with different things than a you would normally do. I love to create and make. So if you'd like to see what we're doing today, just stick around and I will show you something new. I absolutely love every kind of bee decor. I'm just really into it right now. And I came up with a way to make a beehive using just a few little Dollar Tree items. And you're gonna be surprised. These are the only things we're gonna need. Now, I got one of the humming bee feeders from the Dollar Tree. And I thought that makes the perfect shape for a hive. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop the plastic flowers off and I'll actually use those on the outside of my hive later and then take off that top and hmm, I'll use that for something else too. I always use everything. Now you get this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and the first thing that I do because the hive is quite small is I'm going to separate the three strands of the rope. It also helps it to go farther so that one rope will work for the entire hive. So you just start pulling apart all the different three sections and create three piles of rope. There we have it. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a hanger on top just for fun in case I want to be able to hang this hive and it'll look it'll help to make it look good. So all I'm going to do is hot glue and I definitely recommend using those little hot glue fingertip things that keep you from getting your fingers burned. And then we just start going in circles. Now it gets a little bit uh, tricky because the, the way that the mold that we're using kind of goes out and in and out and in. So you do just play with this a little bit and make sure that you get the top really nice and secure. And as soon as that has cooled and is really secure, then it will hold itself in place so that you can keep on winding the twine around and around and around to create our hive. Now, if you, this is your first time here, I would say that um, this is a five part video series. The whole beehive decoration I've done in five different parts. First of all, there is the gnome itself, a, a cute beehive gnome. And we, we go everything from the gnome to the flowers and the bees, now to our beehive. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be showing a tutorial of how to make the pom-pom that goes on the gnomes. And I make all my own pom-poms and all the things for these beehive decorating come from the Dollar Tree. And the fifth tutorial is going to be how to make an A-frame sign made, again, from fun things that you get from the Dollar Tree. So that will be the fifth part of this series. So definitely make sure you click through and find these other videos. Okay, now, as you can see, the twine just wants to kind of bunch up, but the good thing about it is twine and the plastic from the hummingbird feeder they both absolutely love hot glue so they will stay in position if you give them enough hot glue another thing that i have coming up not in this series but coming one of my next videos is going to be a hot glue stand stay tuned for that i've decided enough with this pie tin plate i'm going to create something that will hold my hot glue gun and glue sticks and a few other things and I just picked up everything for that today, so that is coming soon too. I'm constantly working on new projects, and so this is definitely one of my favorite. I was at, 
I must have been at Cracker Barrel. And there were, and this was a year, two years ago even, and there were some really cute beehive decorations that I saw there. And I've kept it on my mind this whole time. And I was thinking, yeah, I've got, I've got to do some bumblebee decorating. I think that really could be my thing. And so, yeah, this is kind of my new style for now. Everything bumblebee. Love it. And can't have bumblebee decor without a good bumblebee hive. So you are going to be just amazed at how cute this can turn out. Now, the only other thing that we will need once we get this all glued on is the marker in order to create the hole for the hive. And we'll, I'll be showing you that in one, in, as soon as we get this wrapped up. The other uh, thing that has been on my mind, I, I'm just constantly thinking of different beehive crafts. Anything that is a do-it-yourself beehive craft and decor. And I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Please comment below and tell me what kind of beehive decorating you have seen or you're interested in because I'm always looking for new ideas. And I will say that one of my favorite things about getting supplies from the Dollar Tree is I always know exactly how much it is and I love going through there and trying to create and make. And especially now that they have the new Dollar Tree Crafters Square, that has helped a lot because there's so many more things available for crafters like myself. I also like to try to find different types of do-it-yourself projects that are conducive to small children since I have a couple of granddaughters that love to craft with me. And so I'm always trying to think of different uh, Dollar Tree craft ideas for kids. And these, this actually could be something that you could make and sell. At. It's just so fast, so easy. And once you add some bumblebees and flowers on the outside, it just looks so cute. So definitely, you're going to want to make some of these, that's for sure. And I, I would say, please like and share this out if, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to all so that you can be notified when I put up new content. I do put up a new video every Wednesday. And then every once in a while when I have a series like this, I'll post multiple videos in a row. And for the next month or so, I have so many crafts rumbling around in my head. I, I think I'll be doing two, at least two videos a week. Today, this week is five. But I'm going to try and do at least two a week. But... Um, my goal is to always have at least one a week, but this is the perfect time of year for me to really get in the crafting spirit, so there might be a few extras. I also like to do other types of do-it-yourself projects besides just crafts. I mean, I, I'm always refinishing, refurbishing, and up updoing my house between furniture in my house or other types of do-it-yourself projects. So definitely stick around and there's always something more to do. Now, as you can see, this hive is starting to come together and I absolutely am thrilled that this is actually working. I, I was thinking about this. I saw the um, hummingbird feeder and I was thinking about it for a while. And once I came up with the idea, I was thinking, oh, I hope that I don't get to the Dollar Tree and they're sold out of them. <laughs> and that's one thing that I've really tried to do I know that everything that you see at the Dollar Tree isn't always there. As you can see, I use this pencil to help apply the different things. I use the same pencil for a lot of different hot glue projects, so it's starting to get kind of a lot of glue on it, but it works still just the same. But anyway, I was, I was saying that I, I absolutely love to find different things, but I, I don't get frustrated if I can't find what I'm looking for. If I see a, a do-it-yourself project and then I try to go into my Dollar Tree and it's not there, I'm not frustrated with it just because I'm just thankful that there is a store that is such a good price. And the, one of the fun things about it is you never know what you're going to see or what you're going to get. And so you have to just be flexible. And that's part of the fun, part of the game for me um, is to just see what you're going to get. I have to say that I picked up some 
foamy kind of, they're not flip flops, they're just kind of like this sandal thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. So comfortable, so great. So I went back to get some more and they were gone. Today I went in there and I saw they had some more. So I'm like, oh yeah, I think I might have to go back in and get me one in every color. They were at the checkout when I was walking out, so I didn't get them yet today, but I may stop in and pick up a few more. And I'm getting no promotion from Dollar Tree for saying that. I'm just, that's just me. Okay, you can see this is starting to really come together and you, you have to admit, this is one of the easier crafts that you could possibly do. It's just a simple process of putting some glue and some twine around. And now we are at the end of the twine. I love it so much. And I love it when a plan comes together. Now, once I... Once I get this all glued, I can still see that there's some places where the twine is a little bit separated, so you can see the red behind it, and I don't, I don't want to be able to see any of that. So what I'm going to do is get my handy pencil back that I've been using, and I just add a little glue, and then I just push the twine up and down and all around so that there's no spots that are showing underneath. I don't want to see any of the red. I want the twine to just fill in all the little holes and gaps and so this is why I always keep a hot glue pencil handy it's a regular pencil with hot glue on it <laughs> because I've done so many projects but see how those little tiny holes are just little tiny gaps that I want to just fill in all the way around and you can do this so fast so easy it's got to be one of the fastest easiest crafts yet then of course I'm going to put the embellishments on that I have previously made and if you haven't seen that video that's just the previous video and I will put a link down below of how to make the bumblebees and the flowers to go on for the decoration and that is all there is to it isn't that fabulous oh I just love it I just want to make a bumblebee I'm just thinking a hive who all needs a beehive I can think of a lot of people who need beehives <laughs> so there we go okay now comes the fun part adding a little door so I'm just taking the lid from something that I've already been working on which was actually fix it in and drawn a circle and then you just fill in with a marker black marker the entire circle and be generous with the ink on it and once that is completely blackened into that little circle then it looks like a cute little door to our beehive. And that's what we're gonna do. And then I'll take my flowers and my bees that I previously made, and they're all nice and dry now, and attach those. It, our next step of making our beehive is complete. How about that? Wasn't that fast and easy? absolutely love it and then look at how cute these look so this is episode three of five so stay tuned tomorrow will be pom-poms and the next day will be this cute little beehive sign with a free printable and that is what we're going to do with our beehives i think everything yellow and black is perfect for this time of year Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you'd like to see more videos like this one of how to create and make on a very tight budget, like and subscribe, ring that bell to all so that you will be notified when I have new content. And I will see you again soon. See ya.